Oops. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the professor with Day Trading for Success. Gee, I felt like I was in a real studio for a second there. They were checking. Charlie's here this morning, just arriving. We have students that we're trading today with, and we're only going to be trading 50 shares. I've already traded earlier today and made my nut. I try to make 5,000 a day, so I was over that. <clears throat> what are we going to be trading? We're going to be trading the RV strategy again. And basically, we're trading 50 shares because this is really what day trading for success is about. And I know you guys see the craziness of 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 shares, but <clears throat> really $100 a day, $200 a day, $300 a day. That's the goal that we're trying to teach by showing the different strategies here, the open strategy. Uh, and you know, there's a lot of very successful traders that put together these strategies, the open, the RV, and the escalator strategy that we are now putting out in episodic for um, basically TV shows here for you to watch and learn from. So remember, uh, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. Please read this description and you should seek the advice of somebody that you trust. And then once you get into this type of trading, you should trade in a simulator until you are green and for a couple of months before you put real money down. Uh, and you, you know, you need to practice. This is a skill that you learn, but I believe anybody can do it and it can make a real difference in your life. Um, and it's, I'll go on about what this strategy is, why this strategy I think is better for beginners. Now, if you look at this screen and you're a beginner, you're freaked out. So I'm going to go over it. You obviously there's tons of videos about how to build this layout, how to get this layout for free, how to use this layout, how to set up charts, how to do everything. If you just immerse yourself for a couple of weeks, a couple of months into all the different episodes we have here, you can learn how to do this. It's really not that hard. You know, I just walked through each thing. Um, hopefully, you know a little bit about trading, though, if you're here. Uh, and we have 30 students here today that are trading, um, <clears throat> that have been involved since the beginning in March of this, this channel. So, We'll be trading the RV strategy, which is a range-bound strategy. It starts a half hour after the market opens on the New York Stock Exchange. Why do we start a half hour after? Because that's when the stocks consolidate after the big move, all these orders that are set, preset. So all that wildness goes away, and then the stocks start to consolidate or go sideways, and they're easy to see their moves. Also, we want to trade large cap stocks in the RV strategy, stocks that have a minimum of a $25 billion market cap and a $1 billion float. So in really what we're trading today is NVIDIA. It's a mega cap. It's massive. So it typically will move the stocks that are that big will typically move very slow in a consolidated matter now nvidia pretty pretty you know pretty uh uh exciting as far as what it does it moves a little bit faster but everybody wanted to trade it today so how do we set up how do we know what are all these lines mean well this is the rv strategy you start off with basically um a day chart right you look at where it closed the previous day you look at the atr down here which is twelve dollars on that day you divide that twelve dollars in half that's six dollars you subtract from the close to get the atr low which is that red line and then six dollars you add to get the atr high so that's here what is the atr that's the average true range over a 14-day period of this stock so this is its center over 14 days. So we're trying to find the mean center of where that stock's going to move. So and, and then we trade within that. That's the RV strategy. <clears throat> that gives us some control. Now, range-bound trading is what that's called, and that's been around forever and ever. And this is a specific strategy for range-bound trading that has been making people hundreds of thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars that have started watching the channel. If somebody's over a million. Uh, now, obviously, you have to have a lot of money if you're tra trading that kind of thing. But then there's other people that are just making $50 a day, $100 a day, and what they can afford to do. Um, or they're waiting for the perfect setup in the RV strategy and doing just one trade, and they haven't made the minimum PDT rule. And there's, there's videos about that as well. So that's our opening range that you see here. See, there's the ATR high, and here's the ATR low. This is a one-minute chart. Oh, that's not the ATR. There it is down there. That's the point of control there. So what else do we do to get these channels within channels? So these are all these blue lines. Well, these blue lines come from four hours. So this is a four-hour chart. And basically what I've done is I've marked 
on the bodies and wicks inside this channel and above it because it looks like it's breaking it. So I went ahead and marked way above it with a body and the wick of candlesticks um, that are going to maybe be in the range that we're trading. Why would I do such a thing? Because that's where the stock stopped and turned around. That's where people bought and sold shares, where people are still holding shares or waiting with alarms on their phone or their, their broker or whatever, waiting to trade at that exact spot. So that's why they're marked there. Now, they're not all going to be, uh, you know, it's not, there might not be enough to turn the stock around or stop it. Um, but you should mark them out. It's just not rocket science. It just makes total sense to mark these things out because they can act as pivot points, uh, ceilings and floors within this ATR. Ceilings and floors, right? There's a ceiling, there's a floor. Actually, that's a Fibonacci line, ceiling, floor. And I'll show you what these are. The other way we marked them out is with Fibonacci levels. So you take a 10-day, um, five-minute chart. Again, this is not that you, the, What I recommend highly is buy the book, Day Trading Volume 1, and then study it page by page, and it actually shows you how to do everything, walks you through it. There are videos here that do it too, but you might want to have that reference guide. It's the best-selling book on Amazon. There will be a link to it here. So I do the Fibonacci, always left to right, mark that out. These are other respected lines. You can see there's a couple of them within the ATR here, these yellows, right? And then you also do it one other time on a two-day five-minute, and there it is there, the pink ones. And they're in between, the ATR high and low. You can see, look at all those, right? So those are going to be areas that create channels. And in those channels, it's like a pinball in here. You're trying to take trades in and out of those channels. So, you know, that's how you're setting it all up. Now, I have other things here. I have the 15-minute chart here where I can see the bigger moves, right? I don't need to really... Uh, watch it all the time. But when you're trading on a one minute chart right here, um, you can sometimes lose perspective. This stock's going straight up, but here it looks like it's going up and down, up and down. And you just don't want to get caught in a position going the wrong way. Like if I was going to hold something, I would more be inclined to hold it going up than down. Let me just uh, get this five minute in the right position here too. So we're not we're on pre market here still. So hang on a second, guys. Where are we? How far out of there we are? I was gonna say like how far out of whack am I here? So this is the five minute chart. Now you'll see the volume profile here. This is set for an intraday. This red line is showing you where most of the buyers and sellers have been. Most of the price volume price actions right here. I have one for the one minute chart too, but it's in a different location. Five minutes versus one minute. So you always want to look for it. So you're looking for all these tricks to help you decide, well, not tricks, all these different guidelines to help you decide when to go in and go out of a trade. I know you don't say it a lot to you guys that, um, you know, this much detail. I'm trying to go back in time a little about if you don't know as much as some of the people that just tuned in and what we're trying to teach here. So now look what happens when I do that. So the lines aren't so confusing. When you're trying to go in and out of a position, you can see, and you're about to see me go in and out. I did one little, everybody did one little trade a minute ago, making sure nobody had a problem. Um, let's get this scalp. Now, this scalper's indicator is a must. All these scripts here that I uh, designed are all free custom scripts. This one here, I had help from subscribers to make this, and it does have um, AI's help as well. That was kind of an accident. But that's all the sellers, and this is all the buyers, and that's the volume, uh, the blue. And this is literally telling you, the stock's going down, jump on it. Literally telling you, making it that easy to get a trade. And then it stopped dead on this support line. Did you see that? See how it stopped dead here? See how these pinballed here and stopped? So these lines mean something. They help you. The ceilings and floors help you along with the scalpers indicator, along with alignment, along with patterns. Patterns are so important to trade with patterns. We have one minute, everybody. So um, I'm going to see, I'm, I'm thinking about this is going to turn here and go long, but let's wait and see. This might just dive off this Fibonacci here, but right now I'm thinking long, so I'm getting ready. We have about 30 seconds. 
We're only trading 50 shares today. So for those of you that are used to seeing 1,000, 2,000, this won't be as exciting. But I did, I did my nut earlier today, so I'm fine. And, uh, and this is what the channel is really about. So we, we want to do more videos like this that show um, uh, what you know, everybody can do. So I'm just going to pause and make sure everybody's ready. We're all ready here, right? So I'm looking at price action on the level two for my entry. We have four seconds. I'm going to go long. Okay, guys, I'm going long. There I go. Now, did you see the volume pick up at 10 o'clock? <laughs> it does that. It starts to go, you know. Uh, um, and you, you know, most likely it will pick up because a lot of people are doing that. Let me just make sure. Is that really what the spread is? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. So, um, so that's a long trade. We're trying to get to 300 today. I did have $2 to start. Now, that could be a tall order with 50 shares. Look at the volume climb at 10 o'clock. And look at the buyers go up. So anybody with a scalping indicator, anybody with a setup like this, already made money. You could have dropped 500 shares in, got out, and made a couple hundred bucks already just by following these rules and these guidelines. Now, this ATR could turn it around for us. This is a highly respected line uh the average true range um so we have to watch that and be ready to flip around i also got to convince myself that this is a high number for a trade not a you know you when you have low share size it's like well come on you're not even you haven't even started a trade yet you know so um <clears throat> so now getting by here now here's a fibonacci this is the place where it might now this is a ladder down move which means this shows it going up at least the length of the ladder. Um, the doji told you it was going to turn around as well if you're into the pattern. Now, there's a the candlestick pattern playbook is another book the Million Dollar Margin Club puts out. There's a link to that teaches you all these patterns. Knowing these patterns just helps you, you know, uh, reinforce you making it. Like a lot of people just want to do one or two trades. They just look for a setup like this at the open off of a, a pattern, off of a fib, and drop in a thousand or two thousand shares or whatever and just make one trade and get out. And that's what they do. And they and they do very well if they wait for the perfect setup. And that was a very good setup right there. So um the only thing it really, yeah, and even even here, because this is a tweezer move on the five minute, signifying this is another pattern, signifying this stock should go up. It's not done yet. If you look at the tweezer move, it should go up to like almost. Well, it should at least go to eighty-seven. Oh, is it already there? No, yeah. So now it's broken. Uh, it's it's about to break this high here. So somewhere in here, according to the patterns. It's almost done with its move, but that doesn't mean it's really done. Now, you also want to look that the buyers went down. Was, you know, as buyers came in, the volume went down. So that's telling you to look for a reversal. Um, this pattern isn't anything about a reversal, but it has gone the full length of the move that they say get out, like to set your profit for if you're just going by patterns. Now we have these support and resistance lines that are beyond patterns. It broke through that. If it fades off, you want to get away out of it immediately. It broke through. Is it going to fade down? No. Wow. <laughs> there it goes. Um, so this is, I don't know why this is so strong, maybe because it's 10 o'clock. This is a very strong move right here. So uh, look for the next one then. 88, $88 even, you know, $88 even up here. Seems like it's having trouble up there. So look at the $88 even as a potential way to a place to turn around. Somewhere in here it's going to turn around. So get ready, you know, don't don't just ride it the wrong way here. So be careful, guys. I'm looking for it right around 88. Um, that's where I would probably start to reverse bank what I have here. This is a good opening trade. $88 for 88 even. I'm looking at the level two. I'm watching the price. That's just below that that support line. I'm going to take that. What did I get it at? 94. So it slipped, and it will do that. It slipped between these two. So the this is what's happening here. If you're a beginner on this level two, um, this is what the people would like to get their stock uh, for their stock when they sell it. This is what people are willing to pay in between here. Look at it like a bridge connecting with a toll booth where the market maker. 
which is the platform we're trading on, is trying to connect you guys like an auction. You know, they're saying, well, he wants that, you want that, how high are you willing to go, blah, 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 blah. And they, you get a price somewhere in the middle between the spread, they call it, what is wanted and what is willing to be given. And then they, um, yeah, I need to, I need to, I, I'm going to bank off that right there. I'm going to, I'm reversing guys. I'm going to bank off that. I'm going to bank off that line and see what happens. If it keeps going down, I'll reverse again. I, I feel like we don't have a lot riding here. I'm, I have to ch check my mentality here when we, uh, uh, for the amount of money that we're, we're doing here. But um, let's look. Let's see about this channel here. I'll get back to this level two in a minute, guys. I got uh, distracted. Um, now, I am quarterbacking or calling the ball. That means I call the trade for all the – the trades for all the students up here, but they make their own choices. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just calling what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. So for those people that want to get me in trouble, I don't know how many times I can say it. Everybody takes their own trades. All the information here, you should seek the advice of somebody after you watch these, these uh, trading demonstrations of somebody you trust and then... Uh, Trade in a sim, like I say, trade in a sim. So we're looking at the top again. We're looking to see um, 88 again. I'm going to take it off at 88. What did I get? 84. That was terrible. That was literally terrible. That was a terrible spread. I got that. So um, Wow. Yeah, I, I definitely – when I hit that, I saw the ask at, at uh, 89 – and I got 16 cents off of that. Now I'm getting now I'm getting hurt. I should have just got out right away and, re and waited for this to short as it went up. It's going to be hard to make money on this particular trade. But we're not done. It's just a trade. It's just a trade. You guys are doing good. Everybody's green. So we don't really have a discernible pattern here. Okay, so it pulled back. Now I'm more looking at the channel trading than a pattern here. So 15 minutes strong, five minutes strong. Um, everything's saying go up. So I I kind of I kind of want to get this green and then reverse. I don't like my position here. It's starting to step up here. Now that's an inverted hammer here. So that's that's even more of a problem for me. So I have to be, I have to be really careful here and try to get, try to reverse in here and go the other way as soon as I get a decent. Uh, right now the spread would cost me money even if I it was green. So, so we're looking for this to get. This is the number they're going to give me. So I'm looking for this to be you know maybe seventy you know, five cent. Oh wow, it's already there. I'm gonna actually reverse right there. I, I wanted to get out of that position more than anything. So this is the problem when I'm looking up at uh, everybody that I kind of miss my trades occasionally. So now I'm going to try banking off of uh, possibly the 88, but it went a little higher. It went up to 88 to 34. So I might look to go up there. Now, remember, we're looking for the um, even dollar as well as the 50 cent. So where's 50 cents up here? That's right, way up there. Close enough. Let me mark that a different color and, and uh, save it. White. And I'll save that as my default. And these are just other levels to look for that I want to make sure I'm aware of as it gets near them. I mean, they're not... I'm not marking them right on, as you can see, but I'm looking at that as the 88. And then the uh, 87.50 down here. 50 cent and full dollar people set their trades to go off right there. So okay. so you want to you keep an eye on those levels. Um, people like they're, they're creatures of habit, right? They like to, and they're lemmings. They all like to do the same thing. So... In trading, it's all patterns and numbers games, and you're just looking for alignment and then take advantage of it with short scalps, they call it. 
Um, I used to hate that word, but I use it all the time now. But um, I used to just only call it momentum trading or uh, high frequency algorithm trading, which is a mouthful. But um, now look at this drop off, off 10. So we're getting to a real sideways consolidation, even on NVIDIA. So it could be tough to make our to make our um, 300 bucks today, guys. You don't want to. You don't want to look for it to go much beyond this because this is where it's channeling, and it's not even making it. You know, actually, you you've heard me call that before. And there's a hammer. Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna reverse right there. What did I get that at? 88.45. Yeah, I reversed on the short just because of the move it made, and broke 200. So. Um, I was starting to say that when it fades, doesn't make it, that I'd look for it to go higher. If it's not making it to the bottom of the channel, I look for it to go higher. And here, that was, you see how the volume creeped up with those buyers? Let's see what happens this time. Although I'm going short right now, so that's not good. But um, So, whoa. So looking for a pullback... Looking for a pullback here. More than that. Now, I have my platform set wicked sensitive, so don't get confused or freaked out. Now, there's a video that shows you how to do that. Sometimes it's not a good idea because it might throw you off on the pattern since the candlestick wicks and shadow wicks, um, there are a lot of patterns based on those. I just can tell. I just ignore them other than I want to see the pattern as quick as I possibly can. So it's very sensitive that way. Look at the spread, man. It's a, spread. It's a 15 cent spread. So um, I can't get, if I try to get out of here, I'm going to take that on a reverse. I was looking for any kind of a reverse that didn't make it a red trade because I think it's going to go up. So That's my my uh, call of this pattern and this action. This is going up, all going up. So this is going. It was higher volume the last uh, buyer's candle too. So don't be fooled by this. This is not this little move right here. Don't be fooled. I got in a pretty good position for it anyway. But um, now it's banked off this uh, 88 again, like pretty perfectly that I just marked there, so. Yes, we, we, we definitely made a tall order to try to make, uh, <laughs> to try to make $300 on 50 shares, guys. This is, this is a very tall order, because uh, trade has been going pretty well, actually, and I'm barely, barely making it here, so. It's just too low a share size, but, you know. It's definitely possible, you know, so. It, it's banking off that up there in the 40s. I'm getting ready to reverse. I, I, I just. <sighs> See if it'll break through that line. It's just stopping dead at 88.50. It's not breaking 488.50, the half dollar. If it starts to get up there, I'm going to reverse, but it's not. It's just, I've already missed a couple little scalps. The problem is the spread. I will lose money trying to scalp on this little, on these little moves. Yeah. So I probably could have made five bucks green back there, but that was about it. So I am looking for a little more than that. Let's see if we can get up to 88.50. Up in there, up in that blue line. I'm looking at the level two. I'm looking at what they'll give me here, and it's not much. Yeah, I was starting to say, so the market maker gets you the best price, and they take some off the top. So they're going to skim off of it on every single sale. So... Wow, there's 44, there's 45. I'm going to take that. I got it at 49, right? Yeah, so I, I made some money there. So I was watching this. I wasn't even watching the candlestick. 
I already made my decision that I wanted to turn around uh, right here because it's just stopping, stopping. Now it is looking to make like a flat top break out here. So we got to watch that. Um, Somebody's red. I don't like to see red. This is a little tricky here. But it's going to only tap here so many times, and then it's going to break. So we have to be prepared. I'm going the wrong way on that move right now. I'm in a good position, so I'm green anyway. So I can just wait this move out, see if it by chance goes down. Maybe it'll go down here to this, or even well, you see where it stopped here at the $88 even. It might hit here again. So we have to kind of wait it out. Like I said, it's going to be really hard to get to $300, but anything's good, right? You make $200, that's $1,000 a week, you know? So um, that's the way you got to look at it, you know, just chip away at a living what you need. And then you could, you know, if you feel confident, you go to 100 shares and then suddenly you got four or $500. So, um, if you can afford 50 shares, you know, and you trade like this, then you can definitely afford 100 because you've made the PDT. It's just a matter of what your trading plan is. Like you may only want, you know, uh, okay, guys, I'm not going to hold this uh, much longer. Um, wow. God, look at the spread there. 10, 12 cent spread. I'm looking at the level two to get out. I'm going to take that. What did I get that at? 75 long now i reversed and that's advanced trading these guys all know about it you can just sell and or cover you know buy and then um uh, cover and then buy again and rather than do reverse like what i just did um and that's what i highly recommend you do so right now i'm, I'm hurting a little because of that but I believe the overall move is going to be up. And I was thinking, wow, is this going to, is this going to uh, give it support? I was thinking that it might stop right in here like it did before. See how it stopped right here a couple times, 70, 69, 74, right in here, all these. So that's what I based it on, if you were wondering. Um, and that the overall move, I believe, was going to go up. And now I'm looking at the 15-minute and the 5-minute both showing down. So that is concerning me. So hopefully this will be a support. So since I'm going the wrong way, I'm hoping that the stock's going to go up. I'm, I've got a long position at 487.75, which is right around here where my cursor is. So um, that's what I bet on. I don't know how many people, most, unfortunately, most people followed me, but it's okay. Now, if it breaks pretty good down here, we got we to gotta get out. So... Um, that means I called it wrong. So let's let, oh, really? That's 32 bucks, guys. That's, uh, that's painful. So $87 even is our next, like, final call here. Is it already breaking that? It's kind of stopped there. If it breaks that, I'm out. So I'm going to call tell you ahead of time. Seems like it's turning around, though. No, it was just they split the difference on that as volume went up. So there's a real choice happening here. Looks like, okay, another ladder down with a, with a, a, a sort of doji right here. So if this closes green, that's a, that's a ladder bottom right there. It starts right there after three red candles. I'd like to see this be more of a solid body for a ladder bottom but this is calling out to you that it's going to go up on the one minute um the five minutes not giving you anything right now so i mean a little bit of a of a bull flag here not really i mean i would have liked to see that well of course as you know i didn't really want the stock to go down but i mean um if the if this is the pole then this would be a flag it's a little flag so yeah a lot of people would consider that a bull flag so if this closes red and then the next candle starts green on the five minute you still got a minute before that's going to close let's see what it does man this is really sensitive today 
Okay, so this is, if this closes green, it's signifying the rest of that move for the ladder bottom. And that is a great move for us to hold long. So have patience, guys. Shall we mark the $88? You start to make the $87.50. The $88.50 is up here. <clears throat> Man, I, re I cleaned everything today on this uh, so it would go faster, and it's really super sensitive, which is great, but it can throw people off on patterns. Yeah, this made more of a bull flag on the five-minute. Unless it just keeps going down and then at one point this was at 32. So, um, well, I could have made some scalps in here for sure, but uh, see, everybody's is green again. Um, which is good, considering what just happened. That's kind of amazing. We have, we do have um, quite a few over 200, so people are doing good. But getting to this 300 guys could be uh, so. Don't take big chances. 200's good, and don't pass me. No. <laughs> um, so I've got my hand off the mouse as a exercise in patience. You know, I'm just waiting it out. So yesterday I reviewed a book, uh, Trading in the Zone, which I uh, highly admire, Mark Douglas, and I've read that book many times. The other two books I really push here are the um, the Candlestick Pattern Playbook. Actually, I have it right here. It's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it if I hold it up. That's the yeah Million Dollar Margin Club, the Candlestick Pattern Playbook. And that has all the patterns, and, and then you get flashcards and stuff like that, and that's really psyched so what i'm trying to do right now oh good we're green what i'm trying to do right now is um i'm working with the million dollar margin club to get free copies of that candlesticks companion book for all of a bunch of the subscribers here so i'll be putting out the details on how to get your free copy of that as we go on i think they're going to give away like 50 copies so um so don't don't do anything yet about that but you know, it'll probably have something to do with it. You do something in an email or something. We're working on the details. Um, but why not get a free book, right? So I think it's still going to be two weeks to a month before that's out. I was looking at it, and they're going to have um, – <clears throat> I think the prerequisite is you have to have the other book to get the free – you have to have the first book to get the free book. But um, – um, it's going to have all the patterns. I thought of that because you you definitely want to get the – you don't want to just buy the companion book uh, and think that that's going to cover it. It will have all the patterns in, like, smaller squares as references, but then it's going to have ton more puzzles to help you learn in it, and they're still putting, like, other cool stuff in it. So just like the companion book for Day Trading Volume 1 – and remember, Day Trading Volume 1 has that rating system. Wow. This is, I just broke 300. I didn't even see what was happening here. I'm just talking, reviewing books for you guys. Um, I'm going to hold, guys. I'm holding. Everybody's kind of holding. Look at this. So now we're into, so we, that was our flat top breakout from way over here, which you wouldn't really call it that. Um, Look at everything is strong here. So look at this, the uh, scalping indicator just telling you buy, 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 buy. Look at the percentage of buyers in here. Ride the wave, guys. It's telling you to buy or stay in position. Um, yeah, well, I made the goal, but for me, it's, you know, if you guys just want to make the goal and get out when you get up there, that's a way to do it. But it's not really a competition. It's about, you know, 
how much money can you make while you you stay in your trading plans i know a lot of you had 15 dollars as a max loss per trade I, mean, I, I think that's smart you know uh and then we went by that and i saw that some of you dropped out and you're still green up your way green up here so it worked out for you so you know following the trading plans a really good idea uh and not following me you know because i think my i put my max loss at 100 <laughs> so that's if you're going for 300 that seems a little extreme right uh, per trade because we're gonna have to try to keep it more in line with you guys call it like 20 bucks or something mostly i don't come across my max loss too much i mean you've seen it happens sometimes it's a thousand dollars sometimes it's 1500 on the large share you've definitely seen me in pain i know i did one three thousand dollar loss one time uh, and that was way above my max loss and i was just i was out of control i wasn't doing it and uh, i was frustrated and it just happens to the best of us but you should have a trading plan uh, the Trading Journal Logbook is another book that has a um, it has all the criteria to trade the open strategy, and there's links for that. But also a trading plan, guys. It has that trading plan suggestions. So if you're new, get some sort of book that has guidelines. And there's there's a bunch of them out there. I, I'm obviously like the Million Dollar Margin Club one. That's why I'm I given I've given a review on that. But uh, that that's that. Whoa! Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so I'm glad we held on. You guys at, wow. There's my wows again. Oh, sorry. I'm like self-conscious about saying wow now. Somebody said they wrote a thing, um, emailed to me, but ASMR, ASMR, I don't know what it is. They say you ruined the experience of the ASMR. I don't know, you guys might know what I'm, I'm not even sure what that is, but... Um, Apparently, it's just like zenning out on my gravelly voice, and uh, some people like that. So if I if I exclaim, I've taken them out of their trance. <laughs> I can't make exciting videos and worry about that. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, and I'm finding that I'm trying to please everybody. Oh man, what did I just do there? Did I just lose all that? Wow. Um. I found that interesting, so I uh, uh, talked to some other people, and it seemed like everybody knew what it was but me, but um, I, I, I guess I'd heard the phrase. I, um, so I feel complimented by that, of course, if that's really true, but I don't want you to go to sleep. I want you to learn, you know, maybe you can learn. To, maybe that's a way to get into your core mind, you know. <laughs> I, I hear new stuff every day. I can't. I love learning new things. I love it. It's great. Keeps you young, right? Just keep learning. And you know that saying, the more you learn, the more you know, you know, the more you understand that you don't know. You just, you keep thinking, oh, I've almost, I've, I've reached the end of the internet. Yay. <laughs> You just never can have enough knowledge. It just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Okay, guys, um, we are getting close to time. This I know I saw that some of you are over 300, so don't lose it if you can keep it. This move seems to be nearing its end here, but I'm not sure. So it's now it's a this is the fourth tap here. So let's see if we can break that 89. And then we look for that fib as resistance if it does that. Um Wow, it just did. Just did it. There we're over our 300. We've still got a couple of minutes left, actually. So this move just keeps going. So there was the pullback, and it broke the flat top. So I would it would be not smart to get out of this move right now, especially if it breaks this fib. Look at the strength of it breaking that fib. Yeah, so we want to stay in this move for a little bit. Now it's got a big gap here that's going to draw it up to 490 if it breaks through here. I mean, I guess it hasn't done it yet, but um, look at this. I'm going. I'm shooting for 400 now. This is a great trade. Look at that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't lose it. 
going to sell that, guys. I'm gonna, I did not reverse. I just sold. I'm going to try to bank off the 89. What did I get it at? 89.14. I wanted to bank that, and I didn't do my typical reverse because I'm not sure if this is going to flush, but I, I then I went for the 89 um, as a support, but I got a terrible fill on it, 89.14. You know, with trading, it's not all, you know, you've got to take chances, obviously, and that's why you got to stick to your trading plan, too. But, you know, that wasn't a perfect move for me at all. But I just, oh, no, what did I just do there? I messed up my, uh, I was on the wrong. What am I doing here? Come on. Am I in, I'm in position, so this is not good. There we go. I'm in a good position. Wow. I might have actually got out at that fib had I been, been able to watch. It's doing it again. Broke off that fib again. My position is 89.14. I'm way down here. I was trying. I was trying to mark this actually at eighty nine dollars even. Well, I, sh I missed that scalp. That was a good scalp. Okay, so that's an even dollar that I'm looking for support. If it breaks that, probably going to want to get out of this position, stay my over three hundred. But look at what I could have got if I sold the long and then went short. So it dropped off as the sellers took over. So that means buyers could make this really recover. So you got to look at that stuff. Like there's not as many um, sellers as buyers, not as many people going short. So you want to look at that. Um, don't want to do that same thing I did a second ago. Um, Three eighty. So we're looking at three, four ninety now. Four ninety as resistance. Look, I didn't mark it. I don't want to go up there and mark it now. I'm going to take four ninety. Is it going to actually hit four ninety? Right there, but but the spread's pretty bad. Oh, it's falling off of it. One more little push up there, and I'm going to get out so it doesn't turn around on me. Ah, oh, is it turning around? 493. I'm looking to the level two. 96, 97. Wow, it's jumping around. Look at that. Oh, that was 49. What did I get that at? Oh, 391. Wow. Oof. I can't even see, the, see the move I missed? Hopefully a bunch of you stayed in that. Wow. That would have put me over 400 if I stayed in that move. So, um, yeah, I'm over time right now. So, uh How's everybody doing up here? Look at the strength of that, huh, guys? You're doing pretty good. I really, I'm itching to take another trade, but I'm over time and I'm, I've made my goal. So discipline, discipline. We made our goal, right? Everybody's good. The lowest I see is 200. So that's really good. That's a thousand a week. You know, there you go. So, you know, that's with 50 shares. So if you had 100 shares, you know, it should have worked out just the same. 2000 bucks, you know. So, you know, a living can be made with these types of strategies. You have to be careful and disciplined. Trade in a sim till you get used to it. Mark out your charts correctly. Follow just one strategy at a time don't like intermix your strategies in the middle of the of your trading you know of that particular day <clears throat> you know just stick to it and then don't over trade you know so hopefully guys if you like the content you'll give us a thumbs up and subscribe um remember there are all these free custom scripts are available the scalpers indicated episode 83 you go down god i get asked this question so many times if you don't watch the video i'm not going to just keep answering your questions you actually have to watch the videos to find out where you get the, the scripts but it's not real hard um but anyway episode 83 along with a, if you just type in scalping indicator 
it'll take you to the videos that show it for trading view and for thinkorswim i think there's 65 and 66 or 66 and 67 and episode 83 has like 10 different custom scripts i put out there um, that are really good for um helping you on thinkorswim depending on the type of trading that you do all free it's all free stuff guys so um all right well listen thanks for watching stay green out there and uh I'll see you guys soon.